Yo guys, Simon B, one for someone coming back at you, and guys, today I am proud to be bringing you my first Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Or should I say Black Ops 1? Hmm, well this game is Black Ops 1, so yes guys, Simon B, one for someone, checking in once again with another gameplay commentary, and guys, yes, some Black Ops 1 on the screen. I'm going to leave the full gameplay on for you, and today you're going to see me start off, I'm shit, I can't aim for shit, because obviously all the different Call of Duties have different sensitivities, so at the beginning of the game I'll start off, you know, by doing absolutely shocking, but as the game goes on I actually get better and better, and guys, you know me, I try to be as honest as what I can be, we all know Black Ops 1 has well, originally was supposed to be released in December for backwards compatibility for the Xbox One. Now, me personally, myself, I was like, um and ah in whether to get an Xbox One anyway because I just want to have ha access to Halo as well as Forza, but I thought, okay, I'll probably leave it until Black Ops 1 backwards compatible version comes out. But it still hasn't come out. So I went and obviously got myself a cheapest chips, Xbox 360, bought a load of the old Call of Duty games. Um, and I'm having a lot of fun, especially on Black Ops 1, guys. I couldn't believe how much fun I had on this game, and hence the reason why I actually got to max prestige, you know, when this game was, you know, current. I loved Black Ops 1. And going back and playing it now, guys, it feels even better than what it did originally. Just because, obviously, we've had to put up with Ghost Advanced Warfare and then Black Ops 3, or should I say Joe Cops 3 this year. Um, and this guy shows how good a Call of Duty game can be if it is built how a Call of Duty game should be, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but this is where the kind of video turns a bit negative. I don't like to be negative all the time, but Black Ops 1, and you've heard it here first... Black Ops 1 will never go backwards compatible, ever. Don't matter what console it's on, they will never do it, guys. Because Black Ops 3 relies that heavily on people continuing to play their game to buy micro DLC, to buy map packs, to buy supply drops, to bribe. They're fucking offering bribes now. They're offering bribes that you can get guaranteed, you know, gear for your character. There was none of this bullshit in Black Ops 1, but... Call of Duty didn't become the great game it is today, or, well, it isn't, I should say, today, but Call of Duty became, you know, a huge and successfully popular title and franchise because of games which was made like Black Ops 1. And unfortunately, now the business model, what they have, is we'll just release a shit game, make it for kids, make it for squeakers, and introduce loads of micro DLC so those squeakers little kids can then go on and spend an absolute fortune on the game via micro DLC and may cause Activision more money. And unfortunately, that's that's the way it is now. They're not going to change it because they're making more money than ever, even though they're selling less copies of the game than ever. That will never change, unfortunately, guys. But... What you can do is buy an Xbox 360 or a PS3, buy an older Call of Duty game, which the games, you know what, most of you guys who watch my channel love. And this isn't me looking through any nostalgia goggles or anything like that. This game is fucking brilliant. You play Black Ops 1, you will never go back to Black Ops 3. Obviously, a lot of people enjoy Black Ops 3 because... Maybe some of those people, their first Call of Duty would have been either Call of Duty Ghosts or Advanced Cockfair, as I'm going to call it. Because Black Ops 3, if you compare it to the last two, it doesn't seem that bad. But if you go a slight bit further back to Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, you then suddenly realise how bad of a game Black Ops 3 is. Like I said on my last video, the game doesn't even work. The servers are worse than Black Ops 1 game here. And there's only 2,000 people online, so unfortunately, the only kind of game you can get in and have decent connections on this game just due to the lack of players online is Team Deathmatch, like I'm playing now. And I can't believe how good this game is. I can remember it, you know, me, God knows how many years ago, playing the game and enjoying it, you know, playing it with my friends. But I didn't ever think it was this good, but because I've had to put up with Advanced Warfare, Call of Duty Ghosts, and Joe Cops 3, 
it makes it even feel even better, guys. This is the majority of what I'm going to be doing, playing Black Ops 1. Obviously, I've got, you know, games on Next Gen what I play, but from a Call of Duty point of view, Black Ops 1 is going to be my main Call of Duty game now. And unfortunately, hence the title of this video, Black Ops 1 will never be backwards compatible. It was delayed in December, then they said it was going to be late January, and here I am doing a video on the 13th of March 2016, and it's still not here, and we've still got no official date from Activision, Xbox, Microsoft, whatever you want to call them. And it's not going to happen, guys. It simply isn't. If there wasn't all this micro DLC in the game, it would probably happen. But they rely heavily on micro DLC, and it's never going to happen while that's the case. Because why would they make Black Ops 1 backwards compatible from a business point of view? And guys, they don't care. They don't give a fuck about me or you. The only thing they care about is money. Let's face it. So why would they, from a business point of view, release a game which is going to take players away from playing Black Ops 3 and the possibility of them buying micro DLC? Why would they do that? It's just not good from a business point of view. Unless they release Black Ops 1 backwards compatible at like 50 quid, full retail price. He'll probably be full retail price anyway if it did happen. But my point of view, I don't think it's ever going to happen. The only way it will happen is if they remaster a load of the old CODs, which I hope they do do at some point, and release it at full retail price. But I would buy them. Because the problem with Modern Warfare 2 is that there's not really anybody playing it, so the connections are bad and... You know, there's nothing you can do about that. I, I cannot get a stable connection on Modern Warfare 2 because there's just simply not enough people playing it. But Black Ops 3, if you go on a 6 v 6 team deathmatch on, sorry, Black Ops 1, not 3, you get a reliable connection. The connection on this game is probably better than Black Ops 3, what I get. You know, I actually shoot somebody, I kill somebody. There's a few bullshit spawns in the games, guys. But other than that, it's a really fun game. But unfortunately, Black Ops 1 will never be backwards compatible. Until next time, guys. Look after yourselves. Bye for now.